What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Ringstop Poppy and we're back to another video. Now in today's video, I will actually be giving you guys some breaking LeBron James sneaker news. Now I know people don't do these LeBron James sneaker videos on YouTube. So I figured I would make this video for you guys and for all my LeBron fans out there who watch this video, this one's for you. But before we get into today's video, please hit that like, subscribe, and feel free to follow me down on Instagram down below. See how I style all my sneakers and outfits. So first and foremost, I have to get a shout out to my LeBron Twitter community, which broke this news. My guy Retro Ready Kicks, who I follow, he had this news yesterday, and that's where I got my source from. I will link his Twitter page down below. Definitely, if you are a LeBron fan, I would definitely go follow him on Twitter. If you have a Twitter, that is, of course. But anyways... For this month's LeBron watch, we will be getting the Nike LeBron 8 Hardwood Classics and the All Over Blue with the Hits of Orange colorway, or the Hits of Orange, I should say, on the shoe. And honestly, I am so excited about these because, in my opinion, the LeBron watch so far has been a little bit disappointing. I know the LeBron 8 graffitis were cool, but that's just not... That wasn't a LeBron 8 like I really wanted. Like, It's a cool PE, don't get me wrong, but... We already got the graffiti theme on those 17s, so it was just kind of like, kind of too much graffiti. And then, if you're a LeBron fan, you know what happened last month. In February, we thought we were getting the LeBron 7 Dodgers, and then Nike dropped the 18 on us. And it's just like, wait, what? Even though Europe and China got the, got the Dodger 7s, and it was, just, I don't want to talk about it because I'm still like disappointed. Even though, in my mind, I still think the LeBron 7 Dodgers are dropping. Um, in my opinion, I would not be shocked if they do like an opening day shock drop. Um, Nike, that's a free idea for you guys. If you want to listen to me, I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. But we'll see. I still think they're going to drop here in the States though because it would not make sense to make a Los Angeles Dodgers shoe and not drop it in the United States. And the Dodgers are like one of the top three baseball teams in the United States. But anyways, this is not about the Dodger 7s. This is about the Hardwood Classic 8s. And like I mentioned, I'm super excited about these. Um, it's Like I mentioned, it's the best LeBron watch, in my opinion, um, to date. And I feel like these are going to be a pretty easy cop. I think that with like the LeBron watch at first, all these like resellers and people who go after these shoes have saw how like the LeBron A graffiti's like totally brick there's really no money to be made in lebron's which is great for us because if you're an actual fan of lebron and you want this shoe and chances are if you are a lebron james sneaker fan this is like one of the top pe's for you it is for me at least i just remember back in the day um like looking up lebron pe's and thinking to myself wow i'm never going to be able to own these just because these cost two thousand three thousand dollars i'm not going to spend that on a pair of shoes so now, 10 years later, I'm actually getting a chance to cop these for retail, which is still a surreal feeling. And that's what it's all about for me. Like, that's why people buy sneakers. It's for nostalgia. I didn't grow up watching Michael Jordan. Well, I was like three years old in like 1998 when he won his last ring. And in 2003, he was at the tail end of his career. And that's when I got into LeBron. And I was like that peak childhood growing up. That's when LeBron and Kobe were playing. So for me, I kind of have like, more nostalgia watching LeBron on the court and like Kobe on the court, obviously, just because I grew up in that time period. So these LeBron sneakers for me will always have that nostalgia, which is awesome. And now like I kind of understand where these Jordan people are coming from when they want to go back and cop all these Jordans coming out. And that's how I feel for LeBron's, if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I'm super excited about these. I still hope they drop the Hardwood Classic 7s. But that's probably not going to happen, unfortunately. But I will not complain about these eights. They will be dropping Nike sneakers on the 23rd. And yeah, it looks like all these LeBron watches are just staying on the sneakers app. So it will be a quick strike. They're not going to be a general release. So good luck if you're going after them. Like I mentioned, hopefully the resellers like look at the resale prices of the past LeBron watches and stay away from this one. It probably won't happen. And they will probably end up like having to return their shoes or... Uh, sell them for retail so if you do take L on these please just be patient I've seen it with all the LeBron shoes I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story before we end the video the LeBron 7 MVPs I took an L and I ended up paying resale for those and those are still on the retail right now so I learned my lesson the hard way I don't want that to happen to you guys just be patient when you take an L on these LeBrons it's not like a Jordan it's not like 
a Kobe or whatever. Um, they're not going to go up in price. They're going to, chances are most of them are going to go down close to retail. So if you take it, I'll be patient. So yeah, let me know if you guys are excited for these in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.